Today, we will test the sharpness of two macro lenses made by Canon. At the ending of this clip, we will find out which one wins. First, let me tell you a few things about the lenses. The first one is the Canon EFS 60mm f2.8 macro USM. It was released back in 2005, so it's an old lens. It has the full frame equivalent of 96 mm and it was made to work on APS-C sensor DSLRs. The second one is the Canon EFM 28mm f3.5 macro IS STM. This one was released in 2016. It has the full frame equivalent of 45mm and can work only on Canon's crop sensor mirrorless cameras. Now that we know a few things about our lenses, let me tell you that there will be four rounds. Sharpness in the middle of the image, sharpness in the corners, diffraction, and macro sharpness. Let the battles begin. The first round starts now. Sharpness in the middle of the image. At f2.8, we only have the 60mm lens with a good start. Let's bring in both macro lenses at their widest apertures. We can see that they have about the same performance. If we align both lenses at f3.5, the 60mm lens lost some sharpness. To avoid lens decalibration issues, I use a mirrorless camera. I also take multiple shots at a single aperture and choose the best one. It seems that the camera didn't nail the focus perfectly in the center. But don't go away just yet, in the corners it's perfect. At f3.5 we see decent sharpness in the left side and good sharpness on the right. At f4, again, even with focusing issues, the 60mm is looking decent, even a bit better than what we previously saw. The 28mm looks good and it's a bit sharper. At f4.5, the two lenses have about the same performance and we see the same thing at f5. If we stop down to f5.6, only now the focusing issues went away. We have the same performance here. If we stop down to f8, the images are just a bit more punchy. So, who won the first round? Despite those focusing issues that the 60mm had from f3.5 to f5, I would say that both lenses have about the same performance in the middle of the image. Now, let's move in the corners. As you will see, the results will be a lot more different. The second round, sharpness in the corner, starts now. At f2.8, we only have the 60mm lens with a good start. Look at that sharpness, it's a nice result. If we close to f3.2, the image improves even more. Now, at f3.5, we also see the 28mm lens. It's clear that the left side looks better. Closing to f4 and the right side didn't improve too much, but the left side looks very good. At f4.5, the 28mm is finally looking better, but the 60mm now looks excellent. It is clear who won the second round, if we stop now to f5.6. The 60mm lens is sharper than the 28mm and this happens if we close the aperture even more until we reach f9. The old macro lens clearly won the second round, it is sharper in the corner of the image. When it comes to diffraction, I notice that they have about the same performance. If we go beyond f9 and gradually close the aperture due to diffraction, both lenses lose the same amount of sharpness in the same time. They have decent results until we reach f16, but going beyond that, the images will start to become unusable. Of course, the 60mm can close the aperture at up to f32, but I guess that nobody wants to use this setting. There is no sharpness battle for two macro lenses if we don't test the sharpness for macro shots. I photographed this watch and focused on the number 45. I also placed the lenses at their minimum focusing distances. Let's see who wins the fourth round. At f3.5, 4.5 and 5.6, we can clearly see that the 28mm lens is sharper. Both lenses have good performances, but it seems that Canon did some fine tuning for this newer lens. Let's close the aperture more. Now we have f8, f10 and f13. Again, the newer 28mm lens has a better performance. Excellent sharpness with good contrast. When it comes to diffraction that intervenes if we close the aperture more, the 28mm lens has a surprising result. It is almost immune to diffraction. It has a decent result even if we stop down to f22. 
The older 60mm lens clearly lost the macro test, and just out of curiosity, this is how it looks at f32. Yep, a bit ugly. In conclusion, the 60mm lens won the second round. It is sharper in the corner of the image at normal distances. The 28mm lens won the fourth round. It has excellent results for macro shots. So we have no clear winner. It all depends on what you prefer, 28mm or 60mm. I will make more videos like this one, so press that like button and consider subscribing. See you on the next one.